Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from John's Gospel, the very first chapter, verse 14. Very familiar verse, and I will read it. It says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. This verse speaks to the incarnation of Christ, where God became man, fully man, and yet fully God. Someone would say that this verse here is the Christmas story, the Christmas story without the manger scene and uh, without Mary and Joseph, without the angels, without the shepherds and the wise men and all of that, because this verse, it tells us that where deity and humanity was joined uh, together. Yes, Jesus didn't ju did not just begin to be in Bethlehem. He always was. He is the pre-existent one. He is the one that was, who is, and is yet to come. And notice again that it says, and the word, and you notice that word is capitalized, meaning that it is a person. It is not a thing, but a person. And how do we, how did John make this clear? Then go back to verse one here in uh, John's gospel. He says that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. And all things were made through him, and without him nothing that was made was made. For in him was life, and this life is the light of man. And then as I said, that there was a man sent by God, whose name was John. John was not the light, but he was rather sent to bear witness of the light. That is the true light that has come into the world to give light to all men. And he was in the world, and yet the world did not receive him. But as many as receive him to them, he gave the power to become the children of God, born not of blood or flesh or the will of man, but of the will of God. And the word became flesh and dwelled amongst us, and we beheld the glory of the only begotten of the Father. John cannot be any clearer to say that Jesus is not the Son of God uh, coming in the form of man is not some concept, but rather we but help the very glory of him. We saw him with our own eyes, as did other people uh, see him as well. We saw him and he was full of grace and full of, full of uh, truth. He is the very embodiment of truth, the very embodiment of grace. He is the very embodiment of what perfect love and joy and peace and long-suffering and gentleness and goodness and faithfulness and meekness and self-control. He is the very embodiment of God himself. And guess what? They were able to see him. They was able to behold him. Can you imagine that you are in the presence of God himself manifest in the form of man? And he was the perfect man, the God man, the one that was in this world the one that knew no sin, and yet he took our sins upon himself to pay our sin debt once and for all, that though he knew no sin, he became sin, that we might become the righteousness of God through him. Glory be to God that John gives us a glimpse into what they saw, and one day, rest assured, we shall see him as well. Glory be to God for the great things he has done. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Amen.